Well, yeah, that was quite the clutch right there. Anyways, what's going on? Just gotta do a quick news update before I get into this. Just three things I gotta mention. First thing, you might have been seeing some 2017 on some of my videos. All that means is that that's a, that's a pre-recorded gameplay from about a year ago when Chronicles first came out and I just had it stored. I never got to uploading it. So I'm gonna start putting some more of those up. I got a part two for directs coming on. And the second thing is that I just got to a high round on 72 on Shangri La you saw. And the third is Revelations. I just hit 133 on this map, which is pretty insane. I had to leave the PS4 on open after that. And that basically, as you see, my level, I got to level almost 400 right now because of all that. And I'm going back up to 1,000. So I, I was only like 200 a couple weeks ago. So I'm, I'm moving really fast. But anyways, here's the gameplay. This is Coliseum in Black Ops 3. It's not exactly 9, but this is in Dead Ops Arcade. You can get to it in the first person mode specifically. It's a lot more like it. But right now, this is basically the, the closest thing that you can possibly get to playing the 9 zombies early. This is kind of, I saw a video of like, you could do on Infinite Warfare where you could make the health different, and then you can make it like Black Ops 4. This is pretty much the, si the similar thing. This is how you can play, kind of get used to playing in this Coliseum early. So basically for Dead Ops, all you had to do to get to this is at about round 20 or so. If you can get far enough, you get to the Rome area. And then that lasts for about 5 rounds before you move on. And while you're in there, you, you know, you get, you get kind of maybe 10 minutes worth of this IX mode. And as you can see, I'm just blowing everything up. I got this upgraded ray gun, and and the Wonder Wolf orbs around me. It's that's just insane. The amount of amount of stuff going on right there. But I thought that this Coliseum thing. I I, I randomly went on Dead Ops yesterday just because I felt like it. I haven't in a long time, and I just found this and I was like, hey, <laughs> that's pretty cool. This is Coliseum. I forgot about that because I I remember I used to play this out. Uh, a little bit more often and that Coliseum was usually about where I died now obviously the non Coliseum is going to be way bigger than this it, that ops is just kind of like a square room all the time that's that's for every map but once nine comes out I bet you it'll be like five times the size of this just the Coliseum area alone and it'll be a lot more you know roundish a lot maybe you have some stuff in the middle of it very open very trainable and this is, this is just like a very smaller scale version of that. To be honest with you, my thoughts on 9 so far is that we need to see more. All we've, all we've seen so far is the intro cutscene. So we're not really sure what it's going to be like. But once we start seeing that gameplay, then I, maybe I'll be a bit more invested into it. Because right now, all, all we know about the map is that it's, it's set in the Coliseum. And then... There's gonna be melee weapons, but there's still gonna be guns too. That, that's all we know basically about the gameplay of the map. And that is really not much. So a lot of people are looking disappointed to it. That's just because we know the least about 9. I, I'm I'm saying this right now. Once we start to learn more, once uh, you know we see like a gameplay video of a huge Coliseum, just somebody training around in it or something, maybe at like E3 or Comic Con or something, then that'll just that'll get a lot of people on board anyways I heard a rumor that the staffs were coming back the original staffs that Max copied into Origins and I don't think they're gonna do it because that just doesn't thematically fit really very very well I know it's a Coliseum and staff that, you know that kind of works but the thing is that this is a completely new universe from the origin stuff and it, they're really trying to do some different stuff so I really doubt that they would bring all of it back and you know it, if this map is going to be open and really trainable as it seems like it's going to be then 
staffs on that open trainable area is just going to be completely overpowered. You know, they would the wonder weapon is going to be some some kind of melee weapon. It would be my guess, similar to like, the dark assure ripsaw thing, except it's not going to be like stupid where you, where you're held in one place executing the guy. Nah, I, I feel like they're going to do some kind of like chain melee, like the Ripper from Black Ops 3 multiplayer or something like that. You know, just or Takio Sword, except you could just slice through a bunch like in a, in a chain instead of just one slice at a time. And that would be a cool wonder weapon right there. But if they bring back the staffs on a map like this that's so open, then, you know, like what's the point? That's just going to completely throw off the balance and anybody could get to any round. Of course, if you're not using some some like crazy difficulty modifier or something. But yeah, that's just about the the whole things I want to talk about. Now this Coliseum Dead Ops Arcade thing, I know it's not the greatest. The thumbnail might have uh, given you like a different picture, but this is just about the closest that we're gonna get right now, and it's still not bad. You can still go in and play some Coliseum Zombies right here, right now. So. You might as well give it a shot, if you do, whatever, if you don't, whatever, but if, you, you know, if you're really looking forward to Black Ops 4 like I am, then you can check this out, this is just something to occupy your time. So anyways, I'm gonna keep on uploading 2017 videos, remember there's that Verrucked Part 2 coming, and that's about it, I'll see you all next time.